Hello, my name is Karen and I am the Dover Area Warn for Kent Wildlife Trust. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about Chalk Downland, its importance for wildlife and for the chuff that we want to reintroduce back to Dover. Now here we are at Lydon Temple Yule, one of the best sites of Chalk Downland in Dover. At first glance this looks a bit boring, but if you look closer you'll see many species of plants in this patch alone. You can often find up to 40 species of plants in a square metre of Chalk Downland. That makes Chalk Downland one of the UK and Europe's highest diverse habitats. Now the reason for this is that Chalk Downland grows on chalk, believe it or not, but on top of the chalk you'll find only a thin layer of soil. This soil lacks nutrients, it doesn't hold much water and it heats up very quickly. These conditions sound horrible but it means that one or two species of grass can't outcompete the other plants. You'll often find this in grassland with high nutrient soil. From April through to September, Chalk Downland is a beautiful site to visit. You'll see many flowers throughout the summer months and I highly recommend visiting. With those flowering plants, you get a huge source of nectar and pollen, which of course attracts insects. A lot of you will know that many butterfly species are found on Chalk Downland, such as the Chalk Hill and Adonis Blue. But there are other insects that are attracted to the habitat as well. You'll find a load of beetles, ants, spiders, bees, all of which reside in this habitat alone. Now these insects and their pupa are a huge food source which the chuff rely on to feed. So one of the most important ways we manage um, chalk downland is through using livestock. So here at Dover Castle where we are installing our chuff aviary we use Herdwick sheep as you can see behind me. The Herdwick sheep graze the most areas outside the castle walls. They keep the sward nice and low allowing wildflowers to grow through. They also graze the tree and scrub species keeping them in check and stopping them from taking over the grassland. This is a natural process which would have happened um, before humans inhabited the UK through free roaming herbivores which would have kept open areas of chalk downland, much like the savannah in Africa. The sheep are particularly good as they have uh, nimble teeth and lips. This allows them to graze the sward quite tightly, which is perfect for chuff. So the chuff have a curved beak which they use to probe the ground um, for insects in the soil and also pick off any emerging insects. Uh, this you wouldn't be able to do in such a thick um, sward of grass, but here where, this, where the grass is very low, it can easily be done. But there is another way that livestock on Chalk Downland um, creates a suitable habitat for chuff. So here we are currently at Nemo Down, uh, one of our Dover sites where we're working to restore Chalk Downland back. Um, so sadly in um, the 21st century a lot of Chalk Downland um, was lost due to um, lack of management uh, without grazing animals or putting pressure on the scrub, keeping it back off the grass. Uh, scrub species took over and it would turn into secondary woodland. Um, also in areas where the grass was left, a lot of rank grass species just grew over, leaving little room for wildflowers to inhabit. Uh, also some of the chalk downland um, got ploughed up and had fertiliser added on to turn into uh, arable fields. So here at Nemo we uh, cleared a lot of scrub and we reintroduced grazing animals back um, such as the, the highland cattle that uh, grazed this site this year. Uh, but sadly it's not the highland cattle that I'm going to show you in this next bit but something slightly disgusting that they uh, produce uh, which is their dung. Um, so dung attracts a load of insects um, ranging from fly and beetle species that um, lay their eggs in the dung which also in turn attracts other insects that prey on the larvae and the pupa. Um, during the winter um, obviously there's not enough insects around in the area for chuff to feed on however insects still use the dung um, even in winter um, and if you have livestock out on site um, during the winter, this provides a very important food source for the chuff to use. Uh, so that's it from me. I hope this video provides a little bit of insight into chalk downland and uh, why it's perfect for chuff. Uh, if you wish to learn more about the chuff, please visit our website.